Good day, one more fly squad. Welcome back to another Thursday trip report. I'm at Vancouver Airport. Today I'm flying United to Singapore via San Francisco. So today's trip report is slightly longer because I'm doing two flights in one. So I hope you enjoy. So right now we're at the International Concourse at Vancouver Airport. More specifically, we're at the USA check-in area. So after checking in with United here, I got my boarding passes including the one to Singapore and then I headed to the gate with the US flag. So the security, TSA, took about 8 to 10 minutes and then the immigration to USA, no questions asked and there was no line as well. So now I'm officially in the USA side of Vancouver Airport. Air Canada operates three lounges at Vancouver Airport, one at the international wing, one inside the domestic, and this one in the USA side. Going down on this so today I was granted access with my first class ticket over to San Francisco. A Star Alliance gold status could also get you in. This Air Canada Maple Leaf primarily looks after passengers flying on United and Air Canada flights to USA. Destinations include Miami, Palm Springs, New York and San Francisco. What really caught my attention here is the buffet. So obviously there's free food, but more so for a tiny lounge like this one, the buffet is really massive. You have a range of cold and hot food and also soup. Situated within the buffet area is a self-serve bar. You can make yourself a glass of cocktail and pour yourself a glass of wine. For non-alcoholic beverages, there are soft drinks, juice, tea and an espresso machine for coffee. What I was really impressed with the buffet is that they've got so many vegan options. This whole plate here is vegan. If you want to take a shower, you can go back to the reception and ask for a key for the shower room. I wasn't going to take a shower, so I'm not going to do a shower room tour. So the toilet isn't luxury or modern per se, but it's got a very cozy and warm vibe. And I guess most importantly, it's got a coat hook. There's still some time before boarding begins for our flight to San Francisco, so I found myself a sofa to sit down and look over the tarmac view. That Air Canada 737 MAX is pushing back for New Wick. That Alaska Embraer I can't remember. This Delta connection just arrived from Seattle. I actually got a trip report on board Delta connection first class from Seattle to Vancouver. I'll have the trip report for that video in the description down below. So here's our aircraft at gate 75 that'll bring us to San Francisco. It's a 20 year old United Airbus A319-100 November 871 Uniform Alpha. It's a former China Southern Airlines aircraft. United bought it from China Southern in 2019. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Welcome aboard United A319. My seat today is 2B and aisle seat. United first class configuration on board is 2-2 across 3 rows. And now quickly I'll show you some seat features. Right in front of you you've got a large seat pocket with literature, a smaller one for your personal items, leg room, excellent. Here's a cocktail table for you and your neighbour. Down here, a bottle holder and a universal power socket. For more personal storage, you've got this space here. Your first class seat is really well padded, it's really thick and soft, so it's really good for your back. And there's a headrest at every seat. For welcome drinks before takeoff, there's sparkling wine and water. Sparkling wine is served in a glass and water in a plastic cup. Attendants arm doors for departure and cross check, verify straps and standby for phone call. Since we're almost ready to go, please put away your carrying items, including large you weapons. Captain, today, up front with me is Vinny Seco. Two of us are going to get you as quickly and safely to San Francisco as possible. Quick one hour and 54 minutes is our planned flight time today. That is 752 miles to go if you're counting. I think a pretty nice day for flying. We got nice weather here. I uh, beat the rain uh, at any rate. Uh, expect a mostly smooth rides and route. As we get to 
Uh, we're just about all set to go up front here. Uh, we're running just a little bit behind the flight crew, that is. Uh, in case you're wondering, we get to stand in the same lines you do as far as security and customs was excruciating today. But at any rate, uh, we're just about all set. We should have you out of here uh, within the next couple of minutes for an on time push. And an on time arrival into San Francisco. Uh, we'll get back with you once we're airborne. We gain information. In the meantime, go ahead and get yourself settled. Let's go down to your board today. We do help you our flight. Despite our flight crew being late today, our flight got pushed back on time at 3.10pm. For in-flight entertainment, there's in-flight magazine and also Wi-Fi on board. Messaging is free, otherwise you gotta pay US dollars for browsing and streaming. The in-flight service started about 20 minutes after takeoff. On this flight to San Francisco, there's no hot food on board. There's however free beverages and snacks. So the service started with a beverage of your choice and went for a glass of Bailey's. And then the crew came back with a basket full of snacks. You can take as many as you want. I went with a pack of almonds and a pack of chocolate. It's dark chocolate and sea salt. It's so good. Welcome on board. Uh, the lavatory on board United A319. It's quite spacious for such a tiny aircraft actually and I've got enough headspace. Cock hook on my eye level. Throughout our flight to San Francisco, the purser kept coming back to offer us more drinks and snacks. I really like our purser today. I appreciate the little chit chat we had and he wouldn't stop giving us more drinks and food. Or utilize the lavatories. This is not the time to do so. So, in about 10 minutes, you may remain safely seated for the duration of today's flight. Also, our flight today has been selected for a promotional offer for new United Explorer card members. New United Explorer card members. Buckle up. Please make sure that you get those seatbelts fastened for the main of the flight. Should have you on the ground just about 15 minutes from now for an early arrival to gate Echo 7. When they're in front of the aircraft, uh, cloudy skies, winds out of the west, temperature is 57 degrees. Has been a pleasure flying for you today. Do hope you have a great stay in the Bay Area, wherever your travels take you. And the next time you find yourself airborne, we certainly hope it's here in the United Airlines. Thanks for coming along with us today. We truly appreciate your business. So we just made it to San Francisco. We've got five hours here in transit. I'm now gonna to head to the United Polaris Lounge, uh, have dinner there, have a nap, and take a shower. Currently, we're at San Francisco Concourse E. International flights depart from Concourse G, so it's a slightly long walk. From the disembarking gate to the Polaris Lounge, it took about 10 to 15 minutes. So here we are at the Polaris Lounge. For those starting your journey at San Francisco, you'll find the Polaris Lounge right after security in Concourse G. So for entry, you need to be in business or first class on board United Airlines or Star Alliance flights. This lounge is really massive. It's got two floors. I would say the main level is upstairs. Upstairs, you'll find a buffet, a bar, and also a restaurant. The restaurant is quite small, so there's likely a wait list when you get in. I'm currently on the wait list, so for now, let's check out the buffet. There's a range of food here. For colder options, you've got sandwich and salad. For hotter options, there are curry, rice and meat. For alcohol, you would need to head to the bar and ask for a glass of whatever you want. For coffee, tea, water and juice, you can help yourself. The restaurant is calling me, so let's go. It's table service here, almost like fine dine. Once you sit down, you're given a menu. Everything is complimentary and you can order absolutely anything you want. For beverages, there's an extensive list of wine and cocktail.
From the restaurant, you've got a great tarmac view, including the long haul planes parked at Terminal G. So for dinner, I skipped starter and I went straight to entree or main. This is a beef burger. It was really good. The brioche bun was really flavorful as well. So overall, a great meal inside the Polaris Lounge, which is a business class lounge. And it's brilliant that they have a restaurant. To emphasize how good this is, Singapore Airlines and Cafe have restaurants only in their first class lounges, not business class. For my cocktail, they actually asked for my ID and I was really happy they did because it made me feel young again. For dessert, I went for a matcha ice cream. It's really, really good. Now my belly is satisfied, so let's head downstairs because it's quieter. So for F&B, downstairs you'll only find fruits and drinks. Downstairs is more about relaxing, taking a shower and having a nap. Just like upstairs, the view is stunning. So I just got into the shower room, I'm gonna do a quick shower room tour. I didn't do a live commentary because there were people outside and I didn't want them to think that I was crazy. So the shower room is massive, a very contemporary design. It's so big that they might as well just put in a bathtub as well. There's rain shower which is lovely. For shower products they use Sunday Riley. The whole shower room including the shower space is so clean and dry which I really appreciate. Because when I was in the United Club in Newark a few months ago it was so dirty. For amenities there are towels, slippers and power supply. You can also ask for razors and dental kits. Conveniently there are two coat hooks here. After a shower, I went for a nap. So in each napping cubicle, there's a chair, which is not flat, but it's comfortable enough for a quick nap. There's also a Polaris pillow, which is identical to the ones on board. Here, it's not fully enclosed, like there's no doors. So you should be as quiet as possible. And should you require a more quieter environment, there are earplugs. Before long, it is time to head to our gate for our flight to Singapore. Currently, the terminal is hustling and bustling. Here's our aircraft today, a three-year-old United Airlines, Boeing 7879, November 24980. Thank you. Hello. 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 How are you? Tendi. Tendi to the right. Welcome on board United 7879. My seat today, Tendi. And now I'll quickly go through the seat features. There's a lot to go through. So you've got a touchscreen TV, and underneath you've got a storage compartment for smaller personal items like passports, USB ports. And then a tray table, you can pull it out like this, you can open it, doubling the size. And during the meal service, you can push it inwards, so you can have access to the aisle and use the lavatory. Down here you'll find an ottoman, which becomes a part of your bed when you put your seat into a flat bed. Every business class customer gets a pair of fluffy slippers. You've got so much leg room to wiggle wiggle, and then here's a cut hook. Towards the middle, you've got the table and then a divider between you and your neighbour. If you know the person next to you, you can push it down. Here, universal power socket, USB port, TV remote and headphone jack. And then here, you've got storage compartment. Inside, you'll find a pair of noise cancelling headphones, a amenity kit and a bottle of water. Here's a reading light, you can adjust the direction the light is going and brightness. And then on the other side, closer to the aisle, you've got this literature pocket. So inside you'll find safety car, vomit bag and in-flight magazine. A very tiny storage compartment. And this time rest, you can push it down. I suppose when you've got your bed in a flat mode, you can have easier access to the aisle. Finally here, you'll find seat control buttons. With regards to the beddings, you've got pillows, a very soft one, and a cool gel memory foam one. You also get seat cover and blanket. For this 17 hour journey to Singapore, you'll get two meals. So United has two daily flights to Singapore from San Francisco. This flight is completely all dark, and the other flight I believe is completely all day. And I believe on the other flight you'll get three meals. So we just got welcome drinks, I got sparkling water. Here's the amenity kit content. You've got eye mask, tissue, pen, dental kit, 
lip balm and lotion. Boarding started about half an hour ago, currently 10A is empty. So I'm going to ask if I could switch, hoping that no one's going to get on board. Hey Mr. Wong, hi, hi welcome you? aboard. My name is Jaws. I'll be your person today's flight. Have nice you decided on entree? Entree, yes. Can I have the chickpea? The chickpea? Yeah. All right, thank, thank you. you. Welcome aboard. Sorry, is someone sitting there? Yes. Okay. It looks like uh, everything's taken. I see. <laughs> no worries. Okay, 10 Alpha, sayonara. Our flight UA1 to Singapore is delayed by about an hour due to late connecting passengers, including the passenger at 10A. In-flight announcements are made in English and Mandarin. All of our setup and checks and uh, programming is finished and complete in the cockpit. Your aircraft's in great shape and so is your crew and ready to go. Right now we're uh, waiting just to get the final numbers because this is uh, such a full flight and such a long flight that uh, everything has to be just right on our uh, weights. So as soon as we get our final weights and our final passengers put on the aircraft, we'll be underway. Once we are underway, 16 hours and 6 minutes, the uh, weather uh, in Singapore is supposed to clear up and be revised by the time we get there. Welcome aboard United Train. It's now already past 12am so in-flight service started very soon so that people can catch some sleep. So I began with a hot towel and a cocktail service. I got a mimosa and some mixed nuts. So here comes salad and appetizer. The main course will come later. So we've got a bun and garlic bread. Next to it a bang bang chicken with lettuce, crispy onions, roasted red peppers and tagashi. We've got another salad here, a romaine lettuce salad with carrots and cherry tomato. For main course you've got four options, beef, chicken, fish or vegan. I went for the vegan option. It's a chickpea and sweet potato tagine with couscous, pine nuts and sesame dukkha. The combination of everything made this so special and delicious. I would rate this highly, definitely the best meal I've had on United. For dessert, I was a little bit greedy. I went for ice cream sundae and egg custard tart. You can't not have the sundae on United. The cabin crew make it freshly right in front of you and then serve it to you. The custard tart is not bad as well. Overall, an excellent meal on board United today. Now it's 2 a.m. San Francisco time. I'm gonna go to bed. 
So I've got this extra large pajamas. It's the only size they got left and they provide you with PJs on flights over 12 hour long. So I've put my seat into a flat bed. It looks really nice and cozy. Most people have chosen to sleep for the first half of the flight and then wake up for the second half of the flight until we land into Singapore. Currently we've got 13 hours and 45 minutes left. So I noticed although your privacy isn't that great for an aisle aisle seat, when you lie down it's still okay, you're not going to roll over, but the bed length felt a bit shorter than the other seats. And compared to the Polaris seats on board a 777, the ones on 787 are slightly narrower. This is slightly off topic but I want to show you our flight route. We're flying northeast today and then eventually southeast into Singapore. Singapore Airlines flight SQ33 however is doing quite a different thing. We both left San Francisco at about the same time but we're taking a very different route and both ways the flight duration are very similar. So now let's go to bed, I'm gonna switch off the light. So a few hours have passed, now I decided to check out the in-flight entertainment. United Airlines have a rather extensive selection of movies and TV shows. Like the first flight on the A319, from Vancouver to SFO, there's Wi-Fi on board, messaging is completely free throughout the flight, for unrestricted internet access including browsing and streaming, one hour for $19, Two hours is $25 for the full flight for $40, which is probably the best deal for this flight, especially if you're going to be awake for a while. On an ultra long flight like this one, I drink a lot of water to stay hydrated. So that's why throughout the flight, I keep walking up and down the aisle to use the lavatory. And I'm happy to say that throughout the flight, the lavatories are kept really clean and spotless. Between dinner and breakfast, which is over 10 hours, the cabin crew basically disappeared. But you can always find one or two of them in the galley. They can help you with beverages and also sandwich and tomato soup. And for snacks, there's a trolley at the very front of the plane. You can help yourself. We're now more than halfway through the flight flying over Japan. I just opened Find My iPhone app and realized that my suitcase have been left in America. When I got to Singapore, I lodged a claim and eventually my suitcase took UA1 three days later to Singapore and then a Singapore Airlines flight straight to Adelaide, South Australia and then a week later when I got back to Australia I went to the airport to pick it up. So with about 90 minutes left to our flight, the cabin crew started the breakfast service. This time everything came on the tray. So for starter we've got a fresh bowl of fruits and then a croissant, strawberry jam, yogurt, orange juice and then for starter we've got a lemon ricotta pancakes with berries and blueberry orange blossom syrup. This is another great meal on board United. After the food, I just went for a black tea. Usually on this flight, they would have oat milk, but not on this flight for some reason. And, uh, in Singapore. We'll be starting to descend here in about 15 minutes from now, and uh, we'll be turning the seatbelt sign on for first word descent at that time, so if you need to give people a reason, this will be a good time to do so, as it'll be allowed. Weather in uh, Singapore, Linus weather shows uh, calm winds with uh, scattered clouds in the area with a temperature of 79 degrees Fahrenheit or 26, 26 degrees centigrade. And after landing, it'll be a short taxi to our gate of uh, Alpha 21 or A21. Thank you for flying United today. Do appreciate your business. Hope they get to uh, see, see you again real soon. G'day guys, a quick official lavatory tour before we land into Changi. So this is the lavatory in Polaris behind the cockpit. You've got face mist, um, body lotion, and what's this? For your clothes. You've got the toilet, 
a big oily mirror, two cock hooks, both of which are being used. Yeah, pretty good and relatively well kept and maintained for this 16, 17 hour flight. Good. Well, thank you so much for flying with us. So our United journey from Vancouver to Singapore is coming to an end. Overall, I found the experience to be really pleasant. The flight crew on both flights were lovely. For F&B, I wish there was food on the first flight. And for the second flight, the in-flight meals weren't the best I've ever had, but definitely the best I've had on United. On the first flight, the seat was comfortable for a short flight. And for this flight, the bed was really comfortable. I actually slept for 7 hours straight after dinner. After some snacks, I had another 4 hours sleep before breakfast. Now for your information, the airfare on United First Class, one way from Vancouver to SFO usually starts from 400 Canadian dollars. And then for SFO to Singapore, one way Polaris usually starts from 3,095 USD. So that's it for the conclusion today. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the short Vancouver vlog that I will show after disembarking. See ya. Once you arrive at the gate, we'll be handing you off to our airport team. They'll be more than happy to answer any questions you might have. Additionally, some of you will receive email series asking about your experience. We'd we'll love to get your feedback on how you enjoyed your flight with us today. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a Enjoy your morning here in Singapore or the city or country of your final destination. Have a great day. Welcome to my Vancouver vlog, here's a quick outfit check. So Vancouver was actually my first stop for my North American trip and then I went to Seattle in America, back to Canada in Calgary and then I flew Air Canada 737 MAX to Vancouver for a stopover and then United all the way to Singapore. So today it's a chill day, I'm currently at UBC, University of British Columbia to visit my friend who boards here. It's a really beautiful and massive campus they've got and they even have this beautiful Japanese garden. So if you're a student here you don't have to pay for other people including myself, it's a small fee.
We're currently in Nordstrom, a department store here in downtown Vancouver. The department store is closing for good soon, so they're trying to pack everything up and sell everything. And it's interesting to see how they've lined up all the mannequins here. Don't know where they're gonna end up in. Again guys, thank you so much for watching, and a big shout out to my Patreon members and PayPal me supporters. See you next week when I upload another video. Bye bye. And uh, Shen Singapore will be starting our descent here in about 15 minutes from now, and uh, we'll be turning the seatbelt sign on for a very short descent at that time, so if you need to get up for a reason, it'll be a good time to do so, as it'll be allowed. Weather in uh, Singapore, the latest weather shows uh, calm.